Hi, this is David Hawthorne at astroview.com. Today is the 6th of August, 2012. The following is the Vedic astrology chart for James Egan Holmes, based on the 13th of December, 1987 at 9.04 p.m. in La Jolla, California. Now, using Vedic astrology from India, we see that the fourth sign of the zodiac was in the first house. So this is called the ascendant or rising sign. So he's the sign of cancer ruled by the moon. This is a water sign and it's a movable sign. And movable sign persons are not afraid to go places and do things. In fact, his first house of self, fourth house of home life, seventh house of marriage, and tenth house of career are movable signs. Now moon rules this chart and moon is a very sensitive planet. Cancer rising, rising sign is a very creative rising sign. Now that is provided that moon is strong and well placed. In this case we see that moon has gone into this is the first house, second, third. This is the third house. It's the sixth sign of the zodiac which is Virgo. So his moon is in Virgo and the third house here is the house of independence, mental development, self-expression and entrepreneurial activities. Now moon is fine in this situation except it's at six degrees and look at it's right next to KE TU, this is called K2, the southern node of the moon, which is a mathematical ecliptic point, which is almost 5 degrees. So this moon is seriously, seriously afflicted by this K2. And opposite K2 is Rahu, the southern node of the moon, who at 4 degrees, almost 5 degrees, is also aspecting the moon. So this moon is on what we call a Rahu K2 eclipse. It's an ecliptic mathematical point in the zodiac. And this causes tremendous calamity relative to his, to the moon, and moon rules the chart. So that's his name, fame, health, reputation, appearance, and longevity. And Rahu is disturbing moon. It causes calamities, worries, phobias, anxieties, addictions. K2 brings catastrophe, past life karmas. So this can cause bipolar disorder extreme problems with the emotional state. Moon rules the mind, the emotional state, and the psyche. And how we comprehend, how we understand, and how we emotionally connect with others. So we have a serious issue here. Now Moon is in Virgo, ruled by Mercury. Mercury down here is in the fifth house of mind. He had a quick mind. It's at 22 degrees. The problem with his Mercury is that if you look over here, you see Jupiter at 26 degrees. And Jupiter aspects five, seven, and nine houses away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this Jupiter at 26 degrees is afflicting Mercury at 22, almost 23 degrees. And I say Jupiter is afflicting because Jupiter rules his sixth house. This is the first house, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth house. And Jupiter rules his sixth house of conflict, enemies, disputes. So mental tension. So this Jupiter is afflicting Mercury and Mercury rules the mind and the analytical problem-solving capability. But the problems go even more deep. What we see here is that Sun is at 27, almost 28 degrees in Scorpio. Now I know in, Vedic, in Western astrology Sun is in Sagittarius but we're not using the tropical zodiac, we're using the sidereal zodiac which is 23 degrees earlier. So his sun moves back into Scorpio. It's the eighth sign of the zodiac. Well, the eighth sign of the zodiac relates to the eighth baba, the eighth house. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth house. This is Aquarius, ruled by Saturn. Eighth house is the most malefic house. And it's the house of transformations and vulnerability. So his sun, which is the soul, is going through tremendous transformations and vulnerability. However, Sun at 28 degrees is also old age and worse, Sun at 28 degrees is conjunct Saturn at 29 degrees. This is a very close, severe affliction. So this eighth ruler Saturn is afflicting the Sun, which is the soul. It brings death to the soul, death-like experiences to the soul. And this Jupiter at 26 degrees is also aspecting Sun at 27 degrees and it brings this conflict and mental tension. So in essence, sun, which is the soul, moon, which is the heart and mind, 
totally afflicted. Moon by Rahu and Ketu, and Sun by Saturn and Jupiter, the two malefics for Cancer rising sign. See, Jupiter rules the sixth house of conflict, Saturn rules the eighth house of death, transformations, vulnerability. They're both afflicting Sun. So this is why he was very vulnerable and why he caused these serious issues. Plus, if we look over at the Vimshotari Dasa sequence, this is the timing of events, we can see that he went into his Rahu main period and his Rahu sub-period back in September 2006. This is an 18-year cycle. And we know that Rahu and K2 are afflicting Moon, the emotional state. Moon ruling the mind and the emotional state. Now, if we look down here at the sub-period, we see he ran the Jupiter subperiod from June 2009 until November 2011. And that's conflict, mental tension. Yes, Jupiter is connected with education, but it rules the sixth house of conflict and enemies and disputes. Then in November 2011, he went into the Saturn period, which is the eighth world where most malefic planet ruling death, death-like experiences, accidents, transformations, and vulnerability. And this doesn't expire for another two years. So he's in the deep Saturn darkness. And Saturn afflicts sun, which is the soul, dark night of the soul. Now over here we have what is called the transit chart. Now you can see that Saturn today is at zero degrees. But a couple of weeks ago, on July 20th, when he was causing these issues, let's go look at this transit chart here. We can go do animated transit. And we'll come back into this issue here of July 20th. We'll move this back here to July 20th. And this is like an evening time, so we'll just leave this here. See, it's a July 20th. So this outer chart is where the planets are in transit. So look on July 20th. Saturn was right here in Virgo. Look at this, 29 degrees. So let's go back over to the chart we're looking at here. So put Saturn here. See, this is Saturn in, in Libra, but it was right here in, in uh, Virgo at 29 degrees. So put Saturn here at 29 degrees. Why is that a problem? Because it aspects three houses away. And what's three houses away? This is one, two, three houses away. Sun at 28 and Saturn at 29. Both were afflicted by the transit Saturn. And this Jupiter at 26 degrees was afflicted by the transit Saturn at 29 degrees and vice versa. So that's why there was a major tragedy at this particular time in life.